Spirit Hunters is very different in that it's contemporary, but it uses Korean shamanism as part of the baseline of the story. I love ghost stories. I, I hate horror movies after watching The Ring. I've never been able to watch another horror movie because that movie scared me too hard. Um, but I love reading horror books. I mean, I was a kid that re read Stephen King books till late in the night, and then I couldn't go to the bathroom all night because I'm like, oh my god, the hallway is dark as a vampire. And so I wanted to write a really scary story for kids because I think kids love scary stories, right? Just like being able to scare somebody is a, it's the best feeling. I, in fact, I love scaring my kids. That Their whole life, I've traumatized them. I just like hide. I'll wait an hour to hide and then pop out and scare scare them. So when I wanted to do it at a broader scale, I decided to do a ghost story. And I wanted it to be a really scary story. So I, I got up some, you know, possessions and scary um, monsters that I could kind of add and made a kind of like a two book series. Spirit Hunters is about a Korean-American girl who moves to the Washington, D.C. area with her family and quickly realizes that there's something really wrong with the house because her little brother has suddenly changed dramatically. I wanted to be in Washington, D.C. because I'm living in the D.C. area now and I felt like it. if you, if you want to think about the cities that are definitely haunted, D.C.'s got to be right up there as a, a top city for that. And uh, it was fun, actually, to really look into the differences about cemeteries, even, like how there were segregated cemeteries in the D.C. area. So I wanted to kind of bring in a little bit about that into my story and also talk about how, like, being um, a kid and dealing with traumatic issues is really, really almost like living in a horror story. So in some ways, what I was channeling was that my middle child had really bad depression at the time. Um, and I think that a lot of what I put into the book in terms of like being in a, a mental hospital, being hospitalized and dealing with issues of um, anxiety and depression is in a way living with being trapped in kind of your own little horror story. So that became part of the refrain that I was using when I was writing Spirit Hunters. And what I also wanted to be able to say is that that these kids are strong and they can survive and that they will find a way to survive.